So guys, welcome to this very special episode. We are going to the very last region in the game, Mother Lusha. Yes. Surrounded by dense suburban woods and cold, underwhelming oceans. From lumber mills to mines and oil rigs, what used to be the industrial heart of the region is now a shadow of its former self. Fully deserted or unfinished factories and eerily empty streets. However, a regional oil company has decided it has potential. So we're going to move in and help them out. I'm so excited for this. New vehicles, so many new vehicles in Russia, but we can retain them and take them back to Alaska, Michigan, if we want to. So yeah, there is an option there. If you guys could be awesome, leave your likes and comments below. I'm so excited for this episode. Don't worry, we are gonna be going back to Alaska, Michigan. Don't worry, we've still got things to do. Don't worry about that, a lot to do. Oh, Drowned Islands, the Russian Federation. Welcome to Alaska. We are going to be buying new vehicles. Not just one vehicle, but two vehicles. I'm so, so excited. Oh, it's going to be good. First off, this fire engine looking vehicle. The 64131. Just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> but anyway, all wheel drive. Diff. Always locked. Massive 47 inch tyres. This is an absolute boss of a vehicle. Cannot wait to use it. But anyway, uh, let's customize it. I actually quite like the sort of red and yellow. It's quite, a, I like the vibe. It's a really clean looking truck actually. Really good looking truck indeed. So there's two engine upgrades, both in Russia, of course. We have the advanced special gearbox, which is in Alaska. Oh, did not expect that. Only got the stock suspension, interesting. There's a few options in terms of obviously getting mud tires, getting chains if you want as well. Oh, we could buy a new winch for 11,000. Yeah, why not? We're going to be using this truck a lot in Russia, so. So I reckon we should probably go for a flatbed. That is a massive crane, though. Wow. I love that power to weight. Just drops so much. Yeah, flatbed for now. That will do. Do we have any snorkels? We've got a... Well, that is actually really high. I just realized that's on top of the vehicle. What? I don't know if... This adds protection at all. I don't think it does. It looks a bit ugly, so I'm going to not include that. Angled visor. Keep that sun away from the eyes. It's good to see what you're doing on the roads. We've got two rim options. I prefer the second one. Look in good. Looking very good. So, also there's another vehicle I want to buy as well. So let's go to the truck store. Across the Scout. And it's this. The Yar87. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Probably not. So I got switchable all-wheel drive. The diff is always on. Oh yes, thirty-one thousand dollars. Can this vehicle, the Yar eighty-seven, can it destroy the car? It's got six wheels. It looks the part. Hundred percent looks the part. Very, very intriguing. I'm looking forward to trying this out. Uh, it does have an engine upgrade, but that is available elsewhere as an upgrade in Russia. I've gone for the Snowrunner gearbox. It only has a stock suspension, so you can't rise it at all. Already has mud tires automatically equipped, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. See, so yeah, on-road it's going to be a bit poor, but that's fine. I, I would imagine Russia is mainly off-road. I'd imagine anyway. I've gone for the autonomous Scout winch, so in case we flip over. I can't imagine it's going to flip over much, but just in case. Just in case. I don't know. A roof rack. Essential. Repair, tools, fuel. Oh, perfect. Very, very, very useful. That's a lot of fuel, right? That's six cans of fuel. Like six cans for every tire. Anyway, snorkel, definitely essential. We take it off. It, um, is it off? There we go, there it's off. That is an essential purchase. Absolutely essential. I want to keep it fairly clean on top also i want the roof rack so i'm gonna leave it at that for now got a few a few a few front front bumpers that's a mouthful so i woke up really early for this video i'm still waking up i'm gonna leave it for now it looks really good stock looks really clean really clean right anyway enough talking enough customization let's go and drive so all wheel drive is actually off weirdly I don't know why that is. That's very unusual, right? Very unusual. 
six wheels is weird for a scout vehicle, isn't it? It's so small to have six wheels. But I'm so down for this. I'm so down. So I want to do a bit of scouting in this episode. But also, I want to try and do a main contract as well. So a bit of both. Uh, again, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, what should I do next? Should I go back to the USA with some of these new vehicles? Should I stay in Russia for a bit? Feel free to let me know in the comments. And of course, leave a like. I appreciate all the support. I don't know what happened to the last video. But it didn't do anywhere near as well. And to be honest, I couldn't find my video on YouTube. I couldn't search for it, if that makes sense. So it might be an issue on YouTube side. But in case you missed it, um, after this video, perhaps go back. Go back and watch it. Chill out. Watch part 19, potentially. Dig up a bit of a weird time as well. Uh, slightly later than usual. So that might have been why. I don't know. YouTube was acting a bit weird yesterday. Yeah, I wouldn't say um, this is obviously nowhere near as quick as the Khan, especially on road, but I'd imagine once we get to the, the sort of rough terrain, this should dominate. I don't think the tyres are quite as big as the Khan, but there's six of them. <laughs> and it's definitely got that sort of Russian-y je ne sais quoi vibe to it, isn't it? It's... Uh, yeah, it feels like we're in Russia, which is... Whoa, that's a big rock. So I'm trying to get to this watchtower. I want to try and do a bit of exploring again. Get a delivery done as well. Get a contract done. There also is only three maps in Russia. Uh, whether they plan to maybe add more in the future with DLC and stuff, I don't know. But yeah, there's only three at the moment. Uh, which way here? So we've got two options here. Again, we're not even discovered the map at all yet, so I don't know where we're going. I reckon we take a slightly trickier route. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for a challenge. How is this going to cope? Pretty well. <laughs> Pretty well indeed. The thing with the scout vehicles, they're not normally very heavy. I know the Hummer's quite heavy. I'm guessing this is also very heavy. To drive six tyres take some doing i'll tell you that right now i love just watching the suspension i mean look at that what a vehicle the fact we can now take this back to russia back to russia uh back to the us is also quite exciting as well so i'm using the a lot I, I want i wanted a new a new scout vehicle and i believe we have it Yes, we do. Oh, let's go inside. Oh, how's the horn? Even the horn sounds Russian. Does that make sense? <laughs> Probably not. It does, though. That is weird. The interior looks pretty clean. A bit like the Hummer, actually. Oh, okay. This looks like maybe a... A bridge or a drowned... Oh, a drowned vehicle. What? We could help him out, surely. That looks like a, a VW van. <laughs> it's not, but that's, that's what it looks like. We could help it out, surely. How deep is this? It's not too bad. I knew I'd get distracted. Go to the watchtower. No. Don't be silly, mate. Don't be silly. Right, should we accept this? Saving country bread. I'm not even going to try and say that Russian name. I'm so bad with names anyway, I would slaughter it. But anyway, there's nothing more positive than bread. I say there's nothing more, nothing worse. <clears throat> Saving country bread. Is there bread in that van? Sounds like it. There's nothing more positive than bread. I say there's nothing worse than a truck full of... Whoa, okay, that, that's your truck. Is Literally, the truck has bread in it. In a miserable river. Get it out and bring it to the railway station. I can do that. I can definitely do that. Right, let's attach it up. Oh, that is damaged. <laughs> I love how when it activates the vehicle, it just sinks it more. It's like, no! Stop it! I mean, this is absolute mud hell right now. Should try and put it into a lower gear. There we go. Oh, it's taking some serious damage. 
And again, I don't know if this Yarl vehicle is available to just find it in the world. I don't know. I didn't do any research. <laughs> I probably should have. But um, yeah, I, I bought it anyway. It's fine. We can always sell it if we find it. So This is extreme mud. Where exactly is the railway exactly? Oh, great. It's all the way back at the start. Of course it is. So I need to go, ironically, back across that. I mean, we could take this route, actually. So at least it's a little bit different. We could take a, sl a slightly different route. We can go left here. But yeah, we're going to do this first. We may potentially get this vehicle for free. So that's the uh, that's the incentive. It's muddy, isn't it? I'm trying to speed up a little bit, but nope. It's a struggle. What we're trying to do is winch in, maybe? I don't know. Once we get to a slightly more solid ground, then I can try and winch it in, maybe. Come on! I knew I would get distracted. It always happens in this game. Yes, Scott. Go to the watchtower. No. I can resist. There's bread, apparently, inside this vehicle. Russian bread. What more could a man want? It's so incredibly muddy. I'm trying to winch it in a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Righty then. Let's set some waypoints because I don't know where I'm going. All the way back to here, where the oil tanker is, and then there it is. Boom. Done. So I guess let me get this vehicle for free. Nice. See, it will be worth it. I promise. The first proper test. Apparently it's out of fuel. Uh, I, I'm guessing we can't change to it. No. A lot of people will say, like, why don't you just jump in it? You can't. It's not officially our vehicle yet. We're just dragging it. Right now. Now we're cheating, so. Oh, what happened there? He got stuck on something. Is it me? Or is that vehicle incredibly low? It's so low. It's banging every rock, every bump. It's, is the suspension broke? Like, what's going on? Weird. Very weird. It's putting pretty well though. It's, it's doing it's doing well. I'm trying to winch a vehicle that's not even remotely working. It's always gonna be hard. Does this beat the calm though? I'm not sure yet. I don't wanna say. It's good though. Definitely good. Just don't know how good. Well, also, if this can carry maybe like small trailers, that might be the deciding factor. It gets stuck in literally every. What are you doing back there? Why are you running so low? The suspension is non existent. Again, every bump. Oh, what's that? What? What is that? Okay. Might come back to get that as well. <laughs> Why am I? I'm, I'm so distracted. Scott! Focus! I'm sorry! Oh, okay. This might get tricky. I'm guessing we're supposed to fix this. Okay, it may still work. I mean, that is the most Russian bridge I've ever seen. Wow. Can I really get across this? Winching a vehicle. Guess we're going to find out. Try and bring it a little bit closer. Might hit the tree now. Ah, oh, it's hit the tree. I mean, it's hit a branch of the tree. Ugh. <laughs> there we go. Give a good whack. There we go. A nice Russian whack. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Okay, it can tip over. <laughs> I was not paying attention there. I was so focused on that. Whoa, look at that. It's pathetic how low that is. Absolutely pathetic. Rescue party is being sent out. Oh, yes. So the front two wheels seem to move. Also, I'm going to sell it to nice morning time again. Yeah, front wheels seem to move. So I'm guessing the, the turning circle is going to be pretty bad. And maybe it's going to want to tip over. I don't know. That might be a slight issue. 
But anyway, rescue party is on the way. Let's see if we can get this done. So far, we've managed to fail miserably. <laughs> uh, at least we get to try out this truck, I guess. Again, this was not the plan for this episode. I know we try and set out a few goals, but it never, it, it never, ever, ever goes well. It always goes horribly, horribly wrong. Of course. It's, it's, this truck is fascinating. It, it feels... It looks like a fire engine. It's, it's eight wheels, which is just incredible. The front two move. It looks incredibly, like, top-heavy and a bit off-balance, which is why I'm a bit concerned about it maybe tipping. Yeah, is it, how good is this truck going to be? I don't know. I'm very intrigued. It was actually quite expensive in terms of Russian trucks. I've heard it is pretty good. So that's why I bought it. Uh, again, whether you can find it for free, I, I don't know. I've no idea. I didn't do that much research. I just know it was available in Russia. But you can take it back to the US. Back to Michigan. If we wanted to. Of course. Ah, okay. So we turn right here. Got it. Probably would have missed that. So, my yar, there it is. There you are. Right, how do I approach this? Good question. See that big rock? I need to try and avoid that. See, the turning circle is a bit bad. Oh, I just managed to avoid it. Now, if we can try and go up this hill, I could just try and drag it from this side, but. Okay, I've gone through it. Weird. <laughs> Wasn't quite my intention, but it worked. Alright, let's try and winch it. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, what's happening there? That is not liking that, is it? Jesus. Camper van, calm down. It's taking damage. Great. Let's see if we can uh, tip it over. Whoa! Um, oh, no. Release it. What have I done? Oh no. What have I done? Can I grab it? I can grab it. This should be interesting. Oh, there we go. Yay. Oh, there we go. Well done. We good? I think we're good now. Oh, I was getting so worried there. Handbrake on. Woo. Switch back to the yard. I bet. We should be back on track. I was getting worried there. I thought that was wedged in for life. Getting very concerned. Um, what I also forget to do sometimes is turn the vehicle actually off. So it's sitting there, continually just draining fuel, which is um, yeah, not particularly advisable. All right, attach the winch to the back again. Let's get going. Don't you dare drop again. Stay nice and close. We're going to get this done. It's the last thing I can do in life. I want to do this. <laughs> I have to do it. have to do it. All right, let's set a little route so I don't get lost. Go past the garage. I believe it's here, right? Yes, it is. It should be there. Just there. Okay, got it. Let's go. Yes, I know you're out of fuel. Hence, I'm saving you. Please don't get stuck on that rock. Oh, it did. It's absolutely everything, doesn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely everything. What's wrong now? Could you run so low? I'm pretty sure the suspension is not supposed to be that bad, but it is. It definitely is. It's got stuck again. It always gets stuck. That's not the yar. That is just the, the whatever that is, the VW camper van getting stuck all the time. So freaking like, it's basically like the front bumper just ramming into anything it sees. Which is, I've got a feeling it's gonna get properly stuck again. Like now maybe. Maybe I should have got a crane, maybe. 
and craned it onto like a flatbed or something. I guess if it gets stuck again, I might do that. Yeah, how much fuel do we have out of interest? Might as well try it out. 120. That is incredibly impressive. I refilled the vehicle and I've still got 27 litres left. That is a good rack. <laughs> uh, why did I say it like that for? On the road again. It gets so stuck. You can sort of combine it with the winch and just try and pull it through. Again, I probably advise maybe using a crane for this and not do what I've just done. Again, man does not plan. Man just does. Does what he wants. Doesn't care about the repercussions. And next up, we've got to try and get through this small, cuddly swamp land. Oh, what's happening there? Are you getting stuck? Yeah. You're just getting, you're burying yourself in the mud. Great stuff. Come on. Basically, you're not really pulling a, a, a truck on wheels. You're basically just pull it, pulling its, its chassis, basically, through the mud. Which, as you, can, as you can imagine, is quite tricky for any vehicle. There we go. It's just getting so badly stuck. Stop it! That's so annoying! So annoying. Right, are you good? You good. Good. Let me try and turn. It seems to be a struggle. Let's try to cross this bridge with no issues, please. I'm asking too much, probably. At least we're moving, though. Yay! We're moving! Screw you, Russia! Should have said that, should I? To get in trouble. I mean, the, the Russian version of the game. This is all fake, right? Calm down. I really like it, though. Russia feels cool. I'm really pleased we've done this for part 20. Yes, it hasn't gone to plan. It hasn't gone to plan, but it's how you adapt. It's how you adapt. Not far to go now. And then we're going to switch back to my fire engine. And we're going to see whatever that truck is. The truck that looked like it was stuck, maybe? Or we can perhaps just take it for free. Yes, I love free trucks. We're not far, we're not far. So we need to get to the back over here, right? Apparently there's some sort of train station or something. Oh. Is that the drop off point? Please. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. So I can't actually work out what's going on here. I've delivered the vehicle to said point. Um, and it does not seem to want to deliver. I've tried everything possible. Um, it is, I mean, it will stay there for now the vehicle so that vehicle is supposed to be delivered to that point tickly just right in front of us basically and it will not trigger it it just won't it really won't i've tried everything to make this work so yeah all that effort pretty much for nothing hopefully it gets fixed and we basically done the objective and we can just move it a tiny bit or go near it and it will finish it off it doesn't say fix it um i don't believe i can fix it Nope. Can I maybe refuel it? Nope. So again, there's no options there. It's basically like this. It doesn't exist. Basically. Uh, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Hopefully we can come back to that and we can fix it. Maybe it's a bugged quest. So the quest was saving country bread. I think it was a bit bugged. Potentially. Anyway, uh, there is a another truck we bumped into. On our journey. There it is. Should we go and investigate? Have a little nosy? I hate stuff like that. <laughs> Make you do all that effort. It obviously didn't go to plan anyway. And then yeah. 
kind of sucks, doesn't it? It really sucks. I tried to do a quick Google search to see if it was like a bug quest. I can't see any any notes about it. Maybe it's just a PC bug or maybe I did something wrong. Maybe the vehicle's too damaged. I don't know. Maybe it bugged out when I when it flipped up into the sky. Who knows? Who knows? So does it actually appear on the map out of interest? Yeah, it's definitely there, isn't it? It's definitely you can see it on the map. Okay, that's interesting. Anyway, is this a mission or is this a basically grab me? I think it might be a mission. What do you need? New objective, SOS. So we get that vehicle if we do this mission. Go on it. Alexander, the local investor, decided to try and increase speed and efficiency of his truck and some simple modifications. Upon testing, it plowed off the road and blew the engine. Would you mind taking a look? Okay, I can do that, I guess. So we're going to try and fix it. That needs a lot of work. <laughs> it needs all tyres. Wow, that is a lot of work. Gee Louise! Right, so I've got a maintenance trailer. And we also have a massive tank of gas. Hopefully, that can get it up and running. But, there's been an issue. The fuel I put into it has leaked everywhere. It's just leaked. It's gone everywhere. Yeah. Madness. Absolute madness. Insane. How did that possibly happen? Yeah, this is gonna this is a heavy load though. Don't get me wrong, this is heavy and this is rough. Rough terrain, so this is not a foregone conclusion by any stretch. Far from it. But yeah. This um is gonna be tricky. Case in point. <laughs> Case in point. This is going to be real rough. Nice low gear. Nice throttle management. You just keep on going up. Yeah. I'm really worried about it tipping over. That is that is my main concern right now. This truck loves to tip over. I'm hoping the, the tank will... The tanker on the back makes it a bit even. Maybe a bit more... The sort of weight is distributed, distributed a little bit better. So said that wrong. Distributed better. There we go. I can speak English. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This has been a tough episode. This has been properly intense. Russia does not mess about. I'll tell you that right now. We have been doing quite hard tasks though, and tasks that don't even work, or the vehicle flips out and goes into the sky. So, yeah, it's not been, um, not been easy. I might need to try and use a bit of a winch here to try and speed this up a little bit. There we go. Is it trying to tip? It loves to tip over, doesn't it? It doesn't give you any confidence whatsoever on that front. It's annoying, though, because it is an absolute trooper. Going through this sort of terrain, it will just keep going. The fact that diff is always locked, all-wheel drive, perfect. I love that absolutely love that but yeah this is an issue it tipping over is an issue definitely is an issue come on i'm trying to work out a route here do i stick to this and then so continue off this i don't know Mm -mm -mm. Or do I just try and dart across <laughs> and pray? I don't know. I have no idea. Should I go this way? I don't know what to do. I'm so indecisive. I'll try and get as close to it as possible. Yeah, maybe go down then. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go down. I've done this already and I failed miserably. Fingers crossed, the second time round goes a bit better. The Tiger. Is that how you say it? Tiger? That Tiger, I guess? 6436. Again, 
A completely brand new truck. Oh, no, 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 I know what you're about to do. Don't even think about it. Nope, nope, nope. This vehicle does not need any excuse to tip. I'll tell you that right now. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm going to basically hold it up with the winch. Oh, my God. And then we keep going straight here, I guess. Fingers crossed, I guess. I don't know. This is so going to tip, isn't it? I don't like this. We do not like this at all. Handbrake on. Winch it. This makes me feel incredibly uneasy. This route the slopey bit. These rocks are concerning me a tiny bit. It's not like there's another option as well. It's like, oh, I could lock the diff and we get through this. Uh, no, it's locked already. What we can do is put in some nice low gear and hope. There's my previous failed attempt. <laughs> That's how far I got. Oh, it's so slopey, isn't it? It's like a bit just to catch my breath. I'm trying to go around this tree. Please don't fail, please. Oh, gee. Please. Please! Let's try and run along the bank, maybe? That's how I got there originally, but that was without the tanker and without that trailer that's on the knife edge of falling off. Oh god. More hills. Can we get there? Can we get there? I think we made it. I think we might have actually made it. I'm trying to slam the handbrake on. Boom! Handbrake is on. We good? We good. Refuel! Whew. So, source? No, don't want that to be the source. I want the tanker to be the source. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Fuel it up. I forgot to uh, fix it first. That would make it good. Yep. Pair it. Go straight to the gas tank. Uh, service trailer. Tank is now done. So you see the fuel's already gone down by 3%. Whoops. Brand new wheels. Six new wheels it needed. It should be almost fixed. Once we do the fuel again. Dude, dude. Fixed? Is it fixed? It is done. The contract is done. Woo! Baby, baby, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy with that. We got a free vehicle. Is it any good? I have no idea. That is buried. Should we go and recover it? Yeah. So can we get out of this mess? Let's find out. It can get out of this mess. Once its engines are working. That was impressive. Reverse! Reverse! This could be an interesting option. Again, all-wheel drive is locked. Diff is locked. Very interesting. So if we decide to sell it, it would be worth 76000 which actually isn't that much, but I mean, we've not touched it yet, so that's a point. Customize it. Got a few engine upgrades. We can get the off road gearbox. Interesting. Interesting. Can get a race suspension. Oh, does have a few options in terms of tyres. I do, I'd like off road, but all train would do for now. So, I don't know if I want to buy it or not. Yeah, I'm buying them. A winch, an extended winch. Winches are not cheap, are they? Really not cheap at all. Snorkel, what's its current one? Doesn't really have one. So definitely advisable. 
that's probably the highest one we've got at the moment. I don't know if this is going to be any good, though. It's more of a ordinary sort of truck, I guess. It's interesting, though. It is interesting. I just wouldn't know where to take it. Like, how good is it? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows until we try it out, I guess. Maybe we do that in the next episode. Little sun visor. Roofed. Oh, aircon, of course. Always run the aircon. No, I'll leave it, actually. Keep it nice and clean. Don't want a reinforced bar. Is it me, or does this truck look Russian as well? I don't know why I think that. It just does a bit. <laughs> it looks a bit Russian. I'm going to ignore the horns. That's... Oh, yeah, definitely. Getting exhaust on. Gee. Definitely. Change the rims. Quite like number two. That looks good. And again, the colour. I'm going to stick with that colour. It's pretty good. It's all right. I mean, it could probably do some work. Better tyres. But it's got the off-road gearbox. Always on all-wheel drive. Diff locked. It, it might be... It might be good. I don't know. We don't know, do we? We really don't. Until we actually give it a go. At least we've got some options. Or we could potentially just sell it. Potentially. At least we've got a free vehicle. Eventually. Took a bit of time, a bit of effort. Interesting there that it got a bit bogged down pretty quick. Interesting. How does it cope in the Zubalta? Uh, I mean, it is quite deep, but yeah, it is struggling. <laughs> it is struggling. Yeah, I'm not sure about this truck, to be honest. It's got the fact it got stuck that quick. I mean, it is. Yeah, it is fairly deep, but. Yeah, I don't know. Any recommendations, guys? Let me know. Yeah, the Tiger is already stuck. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. That was Russia. Cannot wait to play more. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.